Are y'all excited to be in the house of the Lord? I want to tell you, I want to tell you something. Um, you know, this past week, not this week, last week, last Sunday, we ended um, our fire conference. Um, and it was just incredible. If you were, how many of you were here almost every night? Wasn't it awesome? We pressed in every night, just sitting at the feet of Jesus and receiving from him. And you know, God honors that. Amen? God honors the hungry. He fills them with good things. Amen? And let me just tell you, we ended last Sunday, but there was such a shift in the spirit. Amen? You received it. There was a shift in the spirit that happened. And already, many testimonies are coming forth. Amen? Many testimonies are coming forth. And you got to get excited because if God does it for one, he'll do it for you. Amen. Amen? He's just looking for the hungry heart. He's looking for those that hunger and thirst after him. Because we eat when we're hungry. Amen? Some of you a little more than others. Just kidding. I like to eat. But I just want to encourage you. God's not done with you. What he began in you, he will finish. Amen? So we give God glory, many testimonies, and we're looking forward. You know, if you have a testimony, share it with us. We celebrate with you. We're excited for you. We're excited about what God's doing in your family. Amen? Hallelujah. Y'all ready to receive the word? Can y'all smile at me like you're happy to be here? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Open up your Bibles. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Thank you, Lord. And we're starting with verse 6. When you're there, say amen. Awesome. It says, remember this. A farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a what? A generous crop. You must each decide in your heart how much to give. Who decides? Where do we decide? In our heart. In our heart. <laughs> Amen. It's like Bible, Bible school this morning. <laughs> we decide, it says, you must each decide in your heart how much to give. And it says, don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure. For God loves a person who gives cheerfully. And God will generously provide all you need then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. As the scriptures say, they share freely and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered, how long? That's what the word of God says, amen? Verse 10, for God is the one who provides seed to the sower I'm sorry, seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide an increase. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of what? Generosity in you. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be what? Thank you, Pastor Cecilia. So you can be what? Generous. generous. Say it. Look at your neighbor and say generous. Hallelujah. So you can always be generous. And when we take your gifts to those who need them, they will thank God. So two things will result from this ministry of what? Ministry of giving. The needs of the believers in Jerusalem will be met. And they will joyfully express their thanks to God. Can you all say amen? amen? So here we see that Paul's not talking 
about the farmer. He's using it as an example of sowing seed. We shall be just like the farmer, amen? If you sow a little, what do you reap? If you sow generously, what do you reap? Generously. So the same principle is, is at hand here, amen? It doesn't change. You get to decide in your heart how much to give, not reluctantly or unwilling, not forced or in response to pressure, because God loves a cheerful giver. See, when God has your heart, he has everything. Yes? You didn't, like, surrender this part and you kept this part. You gave him everything. So when, you know, the, the heart of the Father is to give, right? His heart is to give. And when you capture the heart of God, it becomes very easy to give. And then you step into, it is more blessed to give than to receive. How many of you have joy when you're able to bless those around you? It's a joy that you can. It's a joy to give to those around you, amen? God provides you with the seed, but you have to determine what to do with the seed. Can you all say amen? It's very exciting. We live in a great time, amen? You were put on earth for such a time as this. But we got to stay rooted and grounded in the word of God. You have to know what the Word of God says regarding sowing and reaping. Because many people have come against this Word, but it's the Word of God. God's Word does not change. And if you haven't established in your heart that sowing and reaping is a biblical principle, then you know what? You reap nothing, you get nothing. It's a principle of God, amen? It does not change. There are principles in the Word of God that are forever established. And one of those is seed, time, and harvest. In Genesis 8, 22, it says, As long as the earth remains. Is the earth still here? Okay. So, as long as the earth remains, there will be planting and harvest cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night. Amen? Do we have cold and heat? Right now it's really hot, a lot of heat. So we still have cold and heat. Do we have summer and winter? Well, in the valley it's so-so, right? <laughs> but we do. Do we have day and night? So then do we have sowing and reaping? God hasn't changed that, amen? It's an established principle in the Word of God. The Bible says that as long as the earth remains, we will always have seed time and harvest. So whatever you sow today, you're going to reap tomorrow. Some of you don't like the situations you're in because of the bad seed that was sown yesterday. So if you want to change your future, you have to learn to sow good seed today. And that's in every area of your life. If you are not sowing seed today, then you're not going to get a harvest tomorrow. Because this principle does not change, amen? The Bible says, Two things result from the ministry of giving. Giving is a ministry. I love how only about 10% said amen. It's okay, that's good enough. Giving is a ministry. When you understand that God puts the seed in your hand and it is up to you to determine what you do with that seed, whether you sow it or whether you eat it, it's going somewhere. And that seed that God has given you, amen? God is the one who provides the seed to the sower. 
If there is no seed in your hand, it's because you're no longer a sower. Because the Bible says he gives seed to the sower. The sower is always doing something. He's sowing. So the Bible says two things result out of this generosity. Hallelujah. Two things. The needs of the believers, the Bible says in Jerusalem, the needs of the believers in Harlingen, the needs of the believers in San Benito, the needs of the believers in Laferia, the needs of the believers in the Rio Grande Valley will be met, amen, because of your generosity. Hallelujah. You have to know what you believe. Because we're at a time where everybody has a platform. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody wants to come against what you're doing. But I want to tell you, when you know what the Word of God says, you are deeply rooted in the Word of God that nothing can change you. Because this principle has been established. It is a principle that has been evident in our lives. Amen? We don't just preach it. Amen? We actually do what the Word of God says to do. I remember, and I've shared this, but I know we have a lot of new people, but I remember years ago, I was believing God, and just to show you how this principle works, I was believing God for something very simple. We had um, been in Florida serving for um, another ministry. We had taken some time off, and you know, I had never really believed God for it. I, I believed God for a lot of things, but just there was a simple request to the Lord, and it was a certain type of ring that I wanted. And, you know, at that time, it's, it's like impossible how, you know, we didn't have the finances, we didn't have anything. It was like, Lord, I'm just going to trust and believe you. This is my heart's desire. And I remember sitting, I was in the second row, and I had my ring on, and I felt the Lord say, give your ring to the person behind you. And immediately I was like, ah, get thee behind me, Satan, that's not the Lord. And I, I said, oh, I don't know if that's you, God. You know, have you ever been like, Lord, speak to me? Speak to me, Lord. And the Lord says, do this or give this. And you're like, mm. I don't know if that's you, God. But, you know, I was growing and I really wanted to hear the Lord. I really wanted to, you know, I wanted to see this word come to pass. And um, I heard it again. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, it's my, you know, one of my favorite rings. And actually it was, it was a wedding ring. Um, and so I just like, man, Lord, fine. I said, Lord, if this is you, if it's really you, you're going to, I'm going to run into that person as I'm leaving. That's, you know, I was like really pushing it there. Cause God, I know what God said. He said, give it to the person. But I said, okay, if it's really you, I'm going to run into them. Right. So service ended, and uh, I'm like, oh, great. You know, I get to keep my ring. I, I'm walking out. Everybody had kind of left. You know, the church was kind of empty, and I'm walking out, and that person is standing right outside the door. And I went, oh, okay, Lord, in obedience to you, I'm going to do this. And I, I you know, I, I blessed that person with a ring, and not even like weeks later, the Lord blessed me with the ring that I wanted. It was a certain stone, right, that I wanted. And then he said, give that one too. <laughs> and I was like, Lord, you have my heart. You have everything. This is, this is nothing in compare to your presence. This is nothing in compare to hearing your voice. And I remember after that, I was obedient. I gave it. I didn't, I didn't fight God on it this time. I was just like, okay, Lord, it's you. Ever since then, people have blessed me with rings and rings. Even this morning, someone put this ring on my finger. So that's the principle 
of sowing and reaping. Amen? You give, you shall receive. You sow little, you reap what? You sow generously, you reap generously. God's principles do not change. If you are sowing anger, what are you going to reap? If you sow love and forgiveness, what are you going to reap? So you have to know what you're sowing, even with your words, amen? But back to, back to the word, verse 12, it says, So two good things will result from the ministry of giving. giving. The needs of the believers in Jerusalem will be met, and they will, be joyfully, and they will joyfully express their thanks to God. This is really awesome because this morning, as I was in prayer, you know, the Lord just reminded me how we are sowing our pastor to Argentina, to Mexico, to the nations. Because of your generosity, the people, I don't know if you've seen the videos, the people in Argentina and in Mexico, wherever he goes, they are being healed. You know, it's so awesome because you know, you hear, oh, another person getting healed. But man, if you're that sick person, if that's you who's been struggling for six years with sickness upon your body, you, want, you will do whatever it takes to be healed. And how awesome, church, that we can send our pastor out to be an answer to those that are hurting and those that are lost and those that are sick. And because we are able to send them out, because I'm believing we're going to send multiple, amen? Because we are able to send them out, they end up giving thanks to God because of your generosity. You are a part of this, amen? You're a part of this. You are sowing to nations as well. You are sowing to community. The Bible says that when we sow, we will have an overflow. Amen. We'll have an overflow, amen? How many of you like overflow? We don't want just enough, and God doesn't give us just enough. He gives us more than enough to be a blessing to those around us, amen? So that those people would give God the glory for providing, amen? Hallelujah. We have to be really, really careful. Because everybody has a platform and an opinion. But their platform and their opinion does not change the word of God. God's word is written, it's established, it's his ways, amen, and you have to know what his word says so that you're not swayed back and forth. Because, hallelujah, because people who have an issue with the giving message don't really have an issue with the giving message, amen? They have an issue with their heart. I'm going to let it sink in. Because the Father's heart is giving. It, it gives all the time. He gave his, his only beloved son. He gave his son so that we could be called sons of God. If God sowed his son so that we could call him father, you know, it's a principle that does not change, amen? It's still going, it's still going. Jesus came and died for us to reconcile us back to the father. So now, God not only has one son, he has multiple sons, amen? Millions of sons, billions, I don't know, so many. You sow one, you reap many. How awesome is that? You get excited. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a, it's, you know, this is a principle that just has to be established in your heart. Just like you know we're going to have a night and a day, a winter, summer, we're going to have all that. We're going to have a sowing and a reaping. 
Amen? And so you have to kind of establish that in your heart. And I'm so thankful. I miss my husband terribly, just so that you know. I do miss him. But I'm thankful for what God's doing in Argentina and in Mexico and wherever else God sends them. I'm so thankful because people are crying out for a touch of heaven, a touch of God. And thank God that we can send our pastor to go out, amen, and be an answer, be used by God as a vessel to bring, to bring God glory, amen? Hallelujah, give God praise. Thank you, Lord. You know, in, um, in case you don't know, as a church, we live in the overflow, amen? And so we also, we're able to bless our community through our food pantry. We have our back to school event coming up as well. Um, we are blessed to be a blessing. And I think most of you that know our hearts know that we are, we're about souls. We're about touching community, amen? We're about seeing the glory of God change a person's life. And I'm not here to convince you of anything. Trust me, I'm not here to convince you of anything. But I'm here to tell you how good our God is. Because in spite of us, God knows how to bless his children, amen? In spite of whether, you know, God blesses us and we're obedient to give, God knows how to get it to the people that need it, amen? And so you have to de decide in your heart whether you're going to be a vessel that God uses or not. You get to decide in your heart what kind of harvest you're going to reap. Amen? Hallelujah. Are y'all blessed this morning? Hallelujah. I think we're going to have a really good time with the Lord this morning. It's going to be good. But I want to just invite you this morning, give as your heart leads, prepare your tithe, prepare your offering. Take a moment and ask God, what will you have me give? Don't just make a decision, just ask the Lord. Some of you want to hear his voice, he'll, he'll speak to you. Amen? So this morning, just close your eyes and just say, Lord, what am I supposed to give? Or if you're here to honor him with your tithe or your offering, just begin to thank him. Amen? He's good. He provides more than enough. He is our provider. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For those watching, you can give online at fpgchurch.com. Or you, there's an envelope in your chair if you're here. Or you can go to our cash app, which is dollar sign FPG Church, and give as the Lord leads you to give this morning. Amen? Hallelujah. I'm believing there's going to be a mighty harvest. Amen? Because that's his word. As we give generously, we will reap generously. Amen? Y'all say amen? I'm an interactive person. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you right now that in the name of Jesus, Lord, you have commanded your blessing upon your people. Lord, I thank you that they know your voice, they hear your voice, and they are obedient, Father, to you. Lord, I thank you right now for blessing them till they overflow, Father, that they would always have more than enough to be a blessing to those around them, Heavenly Father. And I thank you right now that in the name of Jesus, Lord, 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 that no sickness, no disease can come near their dwelling, Father. You have commanded the blessing, Father, and everywhere they go, they shall be a blessing, Father. They represent your goodness in every area. And Father, I thank you right now, Father, for increase, Lord, for promotion, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you provide overflowing blessings upon their life, Father. That as I give this morning, Lord, I thank you, Father, that your word works in their life lives in Jesus name and everybody says amen, amen. come and give as God leads you this morning